The Wii series, consisting of Wii Sports, Wii Play, Wii Fit, Wii Party, Wii Music, and Wii Chess, if you happen to live in Europe, is one of the best-selling franchises Nintendo has ever created, and an astounding 204 million total units sold. Part of these massive sales numbers can be attributed to the fact that Wii Sports was a console pack-in, sure, but the intuitive controls, simple yet intriguing concepts, and fun advertising campaigns cannot be denied. Wii Sports, throw a baseball, go bowling. Wii Play, shoot some cans, find a me, play with tanks. We Fit, hula hoop and jog. We Music, on the other hand, had whatever this is. <laughs> That's right, we music invented furries. Often considered the redheaded stepchild of the Wii series, Wii Music launched in October of 2008, around two years after the Wii was released, to mixed reviews at best. It was, bar none, the worst selling game in the Wii series, selling a measly 2.86 million copies. It almost seemed to be a lame attempt at an educational title, something akin to Mario Paint for the SNES. However, whereas Mario Paint actually gave the player the freedom to compose, Wii Music consists of a bunch of royalty-free music in no clear direction. Players simply shake the Wii Remote to one of 72 songs, unable to control the pitch of their chosen instruments, and not getting punished in any way when getting the wrong rhythms. It's almost like Guitar Hero Lite, but if nothing mattered and they only had the money to buy a total of 15 licensed songs. How does any of this pertain to the title of the video? I'm glad you asked. As anybody who's ever played a Wii game may have noticed, you often interact with this little known character known as a Mii. While you're expected to make your own Mii's to participate in any of these games, lest you use the guest option on your own console like a psychopath, each and every game within the Wii series uses a set of Mii's as CPUs, extra background characters, and more. Some of these characters, most notably Matt, the champion in Wii Sports Boxing and Wii Sports Resort Swordplay, are essentially famous. Others, like Chris, are significantly less notable. Either way, each and every one of these official Nintendo Miis have very unique designs and specific favorite colors, which typically remain consistent throughout every title they're a part of. For instance, let's take Takumi. Takumi's favorite color is yellow, as you can see throughout his appearances in Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, Wii Party, and Wii Muse... Wait a second. Why is Takumi's tie black? This is a promotional sticker, intended to be used by stores to advertise the release of Wii Music. While I can't tie them to a specific date, Wii Music was announced at E3 in 2008, as you can see from this promotional video. Yep, that's right. This was a real thing that several Nintendo executives, let me stress this, ended the E3 presentation with. Absolutely stunning. Anyways, assuming these stickers were given to store sometime in August, that would explain the multitude of discrepancies with the Miis in their favorite colors. To name each and every one of them, Mia's favorite color is cyan, not orange. Yoko's is white, not green. Mike's is yellow, not cyan. Marsh's is pink, not purple. Haru's is red, not light green, James's favorite color is pink, not green, and lastly, Keiko's is white, not cyan. Well, yes, Nintendo messed up these Mii's favorite colors in the promo material. What is more egregious is that anybody's favorite color is white. But I digress. There are actually some much larger errors present in the Wii Music promo Mii's. For example, Victor, this funny little fellow right here, dressed up in a dog suit, has a mustache overlapping his nose. That's right, his mustache is so powerful it has taken over more than half of his face. Even odder is the fact that Yoshi seems to have been in a house fire before sitting down to play the piano, as she is missing her eyebrows entirely. Here are pictures of the actual Mii's for comparison. On this note, it seems like both Ryan and John have the wrong eye design when compared to their final Mii's. I'm not just saying that they have different eyes in the promo art, as Elisa has the same eye shape as them and it wasn't changed later. They actually just messed up with the eye designs in the promos. It's a pretty odd mistake, and I'm honestly surprised that this ever happened. Someone must have gone into the promo artworks and manually changed the eye design on only these two Mii's for some unknown reason. Pretty weird. While these mistakes are funny and all, there are actually four Mii's included within this promo art that have never been seen again. These four don't have official names, of course, but Quirky Nerdy, the user who discovered these errors, has named them Phil, the tuba guy, Gloria, the tambourine lady, Jeremy, I don't really have any idea what he's playing, but I think it's a dulcimer, and Jimmy the conductor. 
Why did Nintendo decide to erase these Miis from existence after these promos? They were in the trailers for the games as well, but have never appeared again since. Perhaps these Miis are holding some dark secret that Nintendo doesn't want us to ever uncover. The truth, unfortunately, dies with these poor souls. I hope my contribution to this topic doesn't get me caught up in some sort of Nintendo Ninja situation. And I hope that you guys learned something today, but just know that if I ever end up dead, I would never kill myself. Well, that's just about it. I actually do have these Wii Music drumsticks that are pretty cool. They say Wii Music on them and they work. And I'm not exactly sure where they came from, but I figured I should mention it because you know, Wii Music. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was definitely nothing close to anything I've ever done before, but this is the type of stuff you get when I look in my closet at 2 a.m. and find some weird promo items. So if you did like this, if you learned something, feel free to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And it's been great to have a lot of uh, new faces around these parts lately. Yeah, you can expect uh, absolutely nothing consistent which is just how I like it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.